I'm standing high above the center of New York City, for generations the crossroads of the world. A world that will soon play host to 22 people who have decided to take a break from their everyday lives and embark on a race around the world for one million dollars. That's Phil Kogan on the very first episode of The Amazing Race back in 2001. Now the hit CBS reality, I know, mm, that's right, Phil. That's right. Now the competition show is returning for its 35th wow. season. The largest ever number of teams, 13, will set off on a nearly 24,000 mile adventure around the world, competing for $1 million. That's the prize. All right, they begin in Los Angeles where contestants have to walk a tightrope between two wings of the famed Biltmore Hotel. Here's a preview of tonight's season 35 premiere. Can I go? She's a spider monkey. Oh, mercy. She's killing it. Ah! Come on, Charles. Hey, Lee, let's go, girl. Woo! Come on, Charles. She's been climbing stuff her whole life. Ready to go? No. The man himself, Phil Kogan, joins us right now. Good morning. Uh, How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I got to say, I, this place is amazing. Well, we did Wait, all I, this for I, you. Uh, I haven't been here for a while, I and mean, you guys really have... We, have, we I mean, rolled out the red carpet just for you, Mr. Amazing. Carpenter. That's right. Uh, now, uh, not as amazing as the race. Yes, yeah, so exactly. About that. Yeah, but you know what? I was just thinking, why am I traveling around the world when all I got to do is just come to this beautiful <laughs> set, I'm nicely lit, and you can put any country behind me. You can turn I'm it good to go. Okay, you anything you want. No more uh, jet lag. That's right. Now, But speaking of the show, you have been hosting The Amazing Race for more than two decades. Um, uh, yes. What keeps bringing you back, aside from the money? Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, you know, I, I was saying to, to Gail before that um, I think when you, when you love what you do, you really, yeah. and you're passionate about what you do, and I am passionate about people. I am passionate about places around the world. I've been lucky enough to travel around the world since I was three. My, my mom is a music teacher. My dad was a plant scientist. We got to travel extensively throughout South America and wow. around the world with my parents, and I saw how they were with people um, and you know, being a teacher, you're a giver. And my my father, working in agriculture, of he's course. a giver and um, and sharing. And so uh, I just fell in love with people. Yeah. And I, I think right now, amazing race is needed more than ever. There's so much divisiveness in the world, That's and true. we're we're talking a lot about what makes us different. And mm. I think with amazing race. We're actually showing more about how we are the same. Yeah. We care about our families. We care about putting a roof over our families' uh, head, and we. And if know, need be, we can work together to accomplish anything. Yeah, it's it's. There's lots of stuff that accentuates what's wrong, and I think with our show, it's just a little bit of an escape to say, "Hey, isn't this a beautiful world?" Yeah. But, but, by the way, feel small. <laughs> but, but it is fascinating, though, Phil, the different teams and to see them work together. And what I like is to hear their backstory. Yes. Mm. But like the shot we just showed, they're walking on the tightrope. They were some people were eating insects and stuff. What <laughs> happens if you get there and you go, I don't really want to do that? Because well, they don't know what's going to happen. They do not know what the challenges are going to be. That's true. But you know, they are they are highly motivated by a million dollar prize. <laughs> <laughs> so I could eat a cricket for a million dollars. I, you know, yes. I think you would do. A lot of things for a million dollars. <laughs> so uh, I think you would go across in your high heels for a million dollars, right? Uh, with your beautiful orange microphone. Um, no, I, I think. Uh, look, the, the thing I always say to all the teams at the start, I said, "There's only one team that's going to win." Yes. And this experience is worth way more than a million dollars. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is an experience that money literally cannot buy. Yeah. We are going to give you and share the. My line at the start of the Amazing Race is, "The world is waiting for you," yeah. and 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 I mean, I've meant it from the start, from season one when we started here in Bethesda Fountain in New York City. The world is waiting for you. There's so many wonderful things out there that we're going to share with you and the audience. That's beautiful. If you're not bored because you say you produce, you direct, you write, that's part of the fun for you that you get to do all those things yeah. and all those traveling. You well, I, I I think I think being able to do more than just host on the show uh, has allowed me to, uh, you know be excited about turning up and going to work every day. Yeah. Um, the, the, the hosting gig is tough, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's 12 shows in roughly 21 days. Wow. But, um, but yes, I'm stimulated by working as part with a team of really 
incredible people. Um, Phil, it seems like every season you give people the world, so we are going to give you something after the commercial break. So you're going to stick around? Free I, cookies and I, coffee. I mean, free where else am I going? Okay, <laughs> good, good. <laughs> where, I'm not season going anywhere. Season 35 of The Amazing Race <laughs> premieres tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS. We will be right back. And we're back with Amazing Race host Phil Kogan, whose show has won 15 Emmy Awards. Wow. And that means we got a surprise for you, Phil. Chrissy Fernandez with the Guinness World Records is here with a very big announcement. Chrissy, Looking what do you got official, for us? Uh-oh, here we go. All right. Today, we are here to present you Phil Kogan with the Guinness World Records titles for the most primetime Emmy Award wins for an outstanding reality competition program and the award for most consecutive primetime Emmy Award wins for an outstanding reality competition program. Congratulations. Bravo. You are officially wow. amazing. You are, wow. I, you are officially amazing. I like that, Chrissy. Of course, this goes to all the thousands of people who I uh, have worked on The Amazing Race, um, thousands of people around the world, and of course, uh, Bertram and Elise, who are the executive producers who came up with this idea in the first place and um, launched this back in 2001, and it is an honor to receive it uh, from you here today, yeah. so, uh, and thank you for But just think about when it's it, quite a journey yeah. around here, right? I mean, this began yeah. as a dare. Uh, a friend of yours came up with an initial idea, it developed from there. At that beginning point, did mm. you ever think you'd be standing next to two official Guinness World <laughs> Record uh, no. plaques? <laughs> no, I didn't know, personally, I didn't know whether we were actually gonna get through the first season. Yeah. Wow. Um, I remember, like I said, we started in Bethesda Fountain. Um, I was considerably uh, younger. There. Are you all right holding those? I feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, do we get a stand? Get, um, you look strong, but I'm can just we, saying. Can we um, get Chrissy a chair? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I was standing there, and I remember we, I said go, and then we, it was such a build up to go. We all yeah. sort of stood around like, okay, and then we're like, oh my goodness, we gotta get to the airport. Like, they've gone to the airport. Like, let's go, everybody. So we took off, but I honestly, I, I, it was such an audacious and, and um, outrageous uh, idea that I wasn't sure, like, are we gonna actually make it around the world and, and, uh, and get this thing done? Right. But just think about that, to go from the Bethesda fountain to where you are in this season. Yeah. And Tyler, just think about that. Well, it's, I mean, yeah, it's an amazing, literally an amazing journey, and, um, you know, I. I, I uh, had missed out on Survivor. I was up with Jeff Probst for, for that gig. Oh, oh you were? So oh, that wow. was uh, That's recently fresh in my uh, mind. Oh. Um, yeah, we was down to the two of us for that gig, and, um, and I thought that was, you know, that would be incredible. And, and then and I was then up for some this. other gigs Honestly, and got close with those, amazing. and then this happened. When the when the AI overlords take over, I'm gonna just do amazing race competitions personally my whole life. That's gonna be, you'll do it with me, right? Yeah, I'll do it with you. I wanna physically do it, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I do, I honestly wanna do it, yeah. I don't mean announce it, I mean like, I wanna be on the zip line. Yes, for sure. But it's funny how life works out, because I would imagine you're disappointed when you didn't get the uh, Survivor, and then you get this, and this well, seems so perfect for you, Phil. It, well, thank you, and um, you know, I remember I was lucky enough to be on Oprah's show, and it was yeah. before Amazing Race had launched, yeah. And and I remember Oprah was like, what is this amazing race thing? But, I said, but now she hold knows. on, Oprah. Now she knows. <laughs> Simply amazing. Thank, Thank you, you very Chrissy. much, and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Chrissy.